to change gears a little bit, what was your thought process when you first heard about the Kawhi trade? I was mad as shit. I was hot. I was hot. Like, DeMar is like, grown into be, like, a really close friend of mine. So, um, I was I was hurt. Um, I was with DeMar in Vegas, like, a week before that for Summer League. Um, and, you know, we had spoken. And I don't know if this story's been told, but, like, uh, I think Nick had just got the job. So we always have these team uh, dinners and stuff um, at Summer League. And so we had, like, a lot of the team there. I think DeMar I got, like, all NBA second team or something like that. So Nick is doing his thing, and they pulled DeMar up in front of the whole, the whole restaurant, like, hey, you know, congrats to DeMar. And basically Nick was challenging him, like, we're going to make DeMar play defense this year, and he's going to become a better three-point shooter and all these things, and we're going to run it back and, and, you know, win next year. LeBron left. Like, we're good. So that's, that's the mindset going into it, you know what I'm saying? And what happened between him and Masai and the management, I can't speak to that. I wasn't, I wasn't around for that. But I just know my perspective of it was like, all right, cool. We're going to run it back with this team. We, we were more than good enough to, to go to the finals that year. We just, we just couldn't get past LeBron. And um, I was hurt. Like, there was a lot of stuff going on, but – I just remember being ready to, to get back at it with that same group. We were we were close. We had the bench mob. We had all those guys, and then boom, just like that, Demar. Not only Demar was was Jakob Pertl, and that was the one that that hurt me too because that was my guy off the bench. Like talking about a five that's running, blocking shots, don't want the ball, setting screens, doing it all. And so I was like, damn. And if we didn't. All we kept seeing was Kawhi don't want to come. That was the only thing after that was he doesn't want to go to Toronto. I was like, man, we trading for this guy. He don't even want to be here. You know what I'm saying? So then when he when he got there, it was like a little little time. It took a little time to to integrate him into what we had going on, but um, it worked out for us, I guess.